Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rukah Kodash. My double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, GMS, for having taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. Okay, those who are laboring, making sure this truth can get to the four corners of the earth, and also unto those who are sincerely seeking this truth. Shalawam. It's the brother Yara Yara from the GMS Italia camp. And the spirit just got on me to do a quick one after seeing this video. And this is a video from Babylon the Great, you know, United States, as you know today. But its its biblical name is Babylon the Great. Okay. So this is a video of um, you know, lots of people on the queue. Lots of people on the queue to go take this, you know, the stabbing job. And it's just crazy because if you go deeper into the story and everything you see, majority is going to be Jake. Majority is going to be Jake. Because Jake is foolish, man. Jake has no common sense. Now let's watch this video and, you know, make some comments on it. Please fasten driver's seatbelt. Look at this. Look, Pandas. It starts from here. That's where we're supposed to start. Why? 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 What is this? What is this? Wow. You probably thought I was done. Well, I'm not done. Look at this. Bah. Bah. Why did you come so early? Why do people come so early, man? Huh? Did they think this vaccine is gonna save their life, man? Man, I just wanted to go back to normal life, you know? I just wanted to take it and just let's say keep it pushing. But how can I? How can I when there's people like this? What is this? What is this? What is this? You think I'm done? Not, I'm not done. I'm not done. Right now, I'm on Beverly Hills Drive. Right? I already went up the Jane. Wrapped around. Wow. Wow. And I could you not? This goes. What is this? Why? This is going towards that little plaza on the Jane. You know what I'm saying? At the Dollarama. What's the point of this? Why? Why do these people go so hard? I'm here. I was here an hour before. Why are they going so hard? Yeah, as you can see, that was a short video and, you know, it just shows you how foolish, how stupid the sons of Israel are, you know, because if you look deeper into this story, now I'm not telling you because I'm not present there. It's a video I saw and by the spirit, I believe it's true, you know. But then, you know, I really don't know what they're actually queuing for. But according to the one who made the video said they were all queued, you know, to get the stabbing job. You get what I'm saying? That's the little sword from Esau, you know. So the reason why I'm actually making this, um, this judgment is because over here in Italy, you know, I work in the plantation and I actually work for hospital services you know so we are actually around different hospitals 
And what happens is, you know, you know, majority of those who actually come out to take this stabbing job are jakes, man. There, there are no civil laws yet, you know, forcing you to take it. If not, you lose your job. Even if we know these laws are actually coming. But you know, Jake is just at the front at, at the front of the line, man. What's wrong with Jake? And this is just going to prove the, the scriptures true, you know. So I actually prepared two scriptures here. First, I'll go to the book of um Jeremiah, is it four? Um uh, 428 or excuse me this is the book of jeremiah chapter 4 verse 22 it quotes for my people is foolish they have not known me they are sottish children and this word sottish actually means foolish now we're going to go into this word and they have none understanding they are wise to do evil but to do good, they have no knowledge. You know, this is Jake. You know, even the sons of Esau, most of them, they, they are walking. You know, they know that this stuff is wrong. You know, they know they shouldn't take this stabbing job. You know, but Jake is actually at the, f at, at the front line. Why? Because Jake cares about money. He cares about going on. Jake wants this kingdom to keep going on. You know? Jake cannot wait to, 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 to take a plane and go on vacation in different countries. Jake cannot wait to, you know, to, to, to blow up, you know? Jake has different plans in this kingdom. In which the Most High Yehawba Hashem Yehawah Shai told us to pray for the kingdom of the Most High to come. Because this kingdom is degraded. This kingdom is evil. And if you don't have the eyes to see it, man, you're just spiritually blind or it's not given to you or you are actually doomed for destruction, man. Because I really don't see the reason why Jake is not going to get understanding and see that these sons of Esau have never meant anything good to us. All over history is right there, man. That's why the scripture says in this in the book of um is it second Timothy 2.16. Study to show thyself approved, you know. A servant dividing between the, 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 the right and, and the wrong. I'm just paraphrasing. Man, but Jake is not going to take time to do this. Jake is not going to look look into the past to know who his enemies are, you know. You come before Jake and you tell Jake about this truth, man. Jake is going to be like, man, what's up, man? Jake is going to stand for, for the Edomites and be like, you've been, man. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Kodash. The Most High is really going to be justified in doing and bringing destruction upon two thirds of the house of Jake. You know, the Most High is going to be justified in doing that. Because two, two, two thoughts are really way more wicked than, than, than Esau himself, man. So now let's, let's take another scripture. Excuse me. So I put apart the book of Luke chapter 16. So I'm going to start from verse 8. It quotes, And the Lord, Yahweh Shai, commended the unjust steward. And the Lord commended the unjust steward because he had done wisely. For the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. Can you see? The children of this world are wiser than the children of light the sons of esau the sons of the wicked 
they are actually wiser than the sons of Israel. They're wiser than the sons of Jake. The sons of Jacob are really sottish, foolish, just like the book of Jeremiah 4 says, you know. They are quick to get on the queue for evil, for evil. And the reason why they're doing all this, as I said earlier, is just to keep going. They don't pray for this kingdom to come down. They don't pray for the kingdom of Yahweh Shai to come. You know? And this is just the foolishness of Christianity and the rest of them. You know? Verse 9 says, And I say unto you, Make to yourselves friends of mammon of unrighteousness, that when ye fail, they may receive you into everlasting habitation. And that's exactly what Jake does. You know, Jake wants to be a friend to, to Esau. You know, he that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. And he that is unjust is in the least is unjust also in the much. Right here in this kingdom, we're actually being tried, man. The main kingdom is yet to come, you know? And how you how you portray yourself to be in this kingdom is just a mirror of what's coming up in the next kingdom, you know? Yeah, how is Shai is going to pay everybody according to their deeds, man? Just like the parable of the, of, of the talents, you know? Some are given five talents, some are given two, some are given one, you know? If you make good use of this talent, which is this truth, actually, you know, doing the right things you have to do, obeying to the best of your ability, these commandments, you know, going out to teach this word to the rest of the sons of Israel who are lost because we are scattered ships, you know. This is actually going to earn you more. But many of them they prefer to work for the for, 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 for the oppressors and look for their for their comfort in this kingdom, as I always say, you know. They're searching for careers, you know. They want to be the next big thing, you know. They want to be the next American idol. The next I don't know. They want to be the next billionaire, millionaires here. Yeah? They don't even want the kingdom of heaven to come. And they can't even perceive it. They're being blinded by their by their own um for their own lust. They are being blinded. They can't see that this kingdom is degenerated and ripe for destruction. This is the power of this truth, you know. Verse 11. If therefore ye have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon. Which the word mammon, let's take a look at it real quick. I believe it has to do with money. Mammon. So the word mammon, as you see, is mammonas. Mammonas. You know, you see treasure, riches, you know, riches, where it is personified and op opposed to, to Yahweh, you know. So these are the riches of this world, mammon, money, you know, it's all about the money, 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 you know. If therefore ye have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will commit to your trust the true riches? Nobody, man. <laughs> you know? <laughs> And if ye have not been faithful in that which is another man's, who shall give you that which is your own? No servant, no servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve Yahweh and Mammon. This is what it is, man. You can't serve Yahweh and go after your dreams in this world. And remember, in order to follow your dreams, you definitely have to be asleep. Just like the zombies 
the Christian zombies, you know. These are zombies walking all around, you know. I just saw the the video of um the video of the elder um Yashawamba, you know, did a video with um you know talking about the the followers of Vokab, you know, says that the laws of the Most High Yahweh that we the israelites we follow the laws of the most high yahweh and not the, the laws of his anointed who is yahweh shy you know and that's just folly that's how that's you can see how stupid and really how zombie these people are you know didn't the scripture tell us that whoever shall save his soul um shall, shall save his life shall lose it and whoever shall lose his life for yahweh's sake shall save it but no everybody wants to you know get as much money possible to escape what's about to come man your money your money is going to die with you man the only thing that can save you from what's about to come is this truth man this truth is going to save you you can call upon those fake false names that your pastors told you jesus yahusha or whatever or the rest jehovah you know they're not going to save you you're actually going to be mocked on that day now you still have time to change just like the book of isaiah always says i can't can't remember the verse right now you know paraphrasing it says seek the lord while he may be found now there is still possibility to find the most high Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. This truth is everywhere, man. Over right here in Italy, we have the truth, man. It's in it's in different parts of the world, man. And that's why the internet was created to spread this truth to the four corners of the earth. So no one has any excuse to say he haven't seen the truth. Here in Italy, they know about the Hebrew Israelites. They know about us. They know who we are. You know? So, well, I just want to leave this quick one right here. I hope it's edifying. And I would like to give all praises to the Most High. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ruka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS haven't taught me this truth which is the 100 percent truth peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth and shalom